Break it down for me, bro. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get like a mid fade. It's looking like a mid drop fade. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take, leave some bulk. You wanna leave that the, the bulk right here? Not too thick, just like maybe a little smaller, like like around there. Yeah. Um, I have a video for reference so I can show you. Let me see. Make sure you send that shit to me. Why are you showing me a, a video of Drake, bro? You need to chill, dog. <laughs> <laughs> so you want that darkness to go? Maybe that's like around like a three. Yeah. Like a three towards the top. Mm -hmm. And the beard, are you gonna want the beard faded like that too? Or are you, you're gonna keep it full. Just keep it out of it full, yeah. Keep it full. What, what are you gonna do with the with the bangs right here in the front? Bangs in the front. We're gonna take that down too. Probably hit it with a three. See if that does anything. If not, like a two and a half or two. For sure. Mm -hmm. That's it. And we're gonna give them a fade. So we're gonna keep this whole thing as dark as possible. We can't really stretch the fade out that much. So we're gonna try to keep it as high as possible right here while dipping it and also keeping this darkness right here on the fade. All right, guys. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna attach my three guard and open up the lever. So we're gonna align the darkness right here with the three guard lever open and flick out. And we're gonna keep the hooks on this fade. This is my Babbler's Silver FX's and I'm gonna use my comb really quick. He just got his hair braided so he might have a little bit of product. His arches are right here and he's gonna keep them. We're gonna start the fade. This is the middle of his arches. We're gonna go about a quarter in right here using my Gamma Evo X trimmer with the smaller blades. So a good way to make sure that your fades are gonna be even, take a look at your client from this angle, arches from right there. So we're gonna repeat the same thing on this side, midway, a quarter. You guys see we have the guideline, everything is nice and even. We're gonna go ahead and just remove the bulk. The next thing guys, we're gonna grab our clipper again. This is open lever, this is the half. <laughs> This is closed, this is a zero. So we're gonna go with our lever open. We're gonna go one finger above and it's gonna go along the lines of this guideline right here. So make sure you guys stay consistent with your fade and setting your guidelines. The lever open. So this is the trimmer line, the half, and now we're gonna go up with the one guard lever open, a finger's length. So anytime you guys open the lever, this makes the half, you attach the one guard. Now we're working with the one and a half. Next thing, we got two guidelines now. We're just gonna create our last guideline with the two guard lever open. So once you guys have all the guidelines set, what I like doing next is just lining up the C cup area first, and then I'm gonna go ahead and bald out the bottom line. So we're gonna start right here at the corner, gently tapping. Gently grazing with the trimmer with the right corner. Using my baby this gold FX shaver, we're probably gonna shave about half of this area right here. More towards half right here and half right here. And we'll go maybe three quarters over here because we have more room to bald out over here. We have to be more careful right here around the ear because we have less room to work with. So you guys can see his hair is growing this way. So I'm gonna angle the shaver to go against his hair growth because his hair grows in different directions right here towards the back of the neck. Not going all the way to the top. To start the blending process, we're gonna go line by line. We already balded this thing out, so we're just gonna stick to that half guideline with the lever open. We're gonna erase this first. How we're gonna do that is first, we're gonna decide what lever method we wanna use. For this haircut in particular, we're gonna just play it safe. We're gonna go three quarters to closed. Three quarters right here. I'm gonna hit almost the top of the line, and I'm gonna work from the ear back over here 
go midway, hit it midway, do the same thing, then close it and hit the beginning. If that's blended out, I'm gonna go from the ear back to the occipital bone. If it's not blended, I'm just gonna repeat the process until it's blended, then so I can move on to this over here. Just go three quarters open, just using the left corner of my blade, gonna work into the back side of the ear right there and keep rotating go around two times let's go midway now you guys can see i'm not going any higher than that midway point go once and twice before you guys start moving the lever let's close it and we're going to hit barely the beginning of the line be very careful in this step because you guys can push the fade a little bit higher and you guys don't want to do that you guys just want to maintain the consistency of your fade then we're just going to work our way up again since it's not fully blended you guys can try that out for speed just go from the three quarters to close then when it's fully closed you just work your way back to the open position so once you guys are done blending this we're going to now work from the back of the ear to the occipital bone repeat the process three quarters open Almost working our way to the top of the line, but not all the way. So we're going once over here. Return it for a second time before moving the lever to the middle position. Now we want to go midway. Go once. And then twice again. Before deciding to close it all the way, and now we're just going to gently baby tap the beginning of the line. So letting the machine do all the work. Now let's work our way back up now. It's a quarter closed. Gently tapping almost the beginning of the line. Go midway. Three quarters open now, back to the start position. And our lever's now all the way open and we just work our way from open to close to close to open. We really can't see the guideline now guys, so we just have to remember where we placed them first. So this was the first guideline, second guideline, third guideline. Trimmer, lever open, one guard lever open. So just to make sure, we're gonna go again with our one guard lever open right here. To kind of just clean up that room it gets a little darker over here towards the back of the head so we know exactly that this is our line right here we're going to go three quarters open to close repeat the same process from ear to temple and from the ear back to the occipital bone so three quarters open looking our way towards the top of the line midway now Close it and hit the beginning of the line. So to switch things up in the back guys, I'm gonna show you guys something a little different. Instead of going three quarters to close, we can go close to open and just kind of revert the process. So close to open just means you hit the beginning of the line right here. Just gently tapping it. Middle. And then open it all the way and hit the full thing. So you guys can do either or. Open to close, close to open. As long as you guys decide to stay consistent with the lever, you guys can start wherever. So we went in with the one guard and we softened this line. On the second line, it takes two guards to blend it out. We're gonna now attach the half guard and we're gonna go three quarters to close. Repeat the same process. First guideline, second guideline. At the end of the second guideline, we're going with the lever three quarters open. <laughs> so 
So the last guard we're gonna use is gonna be the 1.5 guard. So we're working on the third line right here, blending the one and a half into the two and a half. So repeating the same thing with the three quarters to close with the 1.5. 